Okay. So, Lord, but before I begin, I'm gonna pray for the Lord, Lord Jesus. I ask you to help me with this video and give me your wisdom and discernment and understanding. Holy Spirit, guide me with your words to speak in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to turn to Matthew. I, so, Matthew 5, 13 is where I'm going to be reading today. This is, this is from the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus gave his famous sermon about the kingdom of heaven and what it's, what it's going to be for us when we enter the kingdom of heaven, what we shall be like. Um... Anyway, so I'm going to begin. Matthew five 13. I'm reading now the King James Bible. Feel free to read any other version you want to. It's totally up to you. It's fine between you and God. Anyway, and it reads, and the text reads, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and be trodden under the foot of men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot said cannot a city that oh sorry, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and he giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. All right, so basically, so this is saying, Jesus is saying to us Christians, we are salt and light of the world. We are supposed to be the salt and light of the world, but some, but some, most of the Christians are not doing that. A lot of Christians aren't being salt and light of the world. A lot of people, a lot of Christians are following the flesh and their own interpretation of Scripture and their own ideas of who God is. We got to be careful. Remember what Jesus says in this. And Jesus says in Book Matthew, and not everyone who says to me, "Lord, Lord," shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But those who do the will of my father. So everyone who does the will of the father. What is the will of the father? Well, okay, I know. The do the will of the father is this. Is, is in Romans. Romans 10. Nine, no, Romans 9. Yeah, Romans 10. Verse 9 to 10. I can get there. This is this is the this is the will of God. That if thou shalt confess thy mouth and with the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, but that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with mouth confession is made unto salvation. Anyway, so that's that's that's, I don't know why I first said that, but, um, anyway, well, I didn't know why. Anyway, I'm going, moving on. Jesus says to Christians, we, we, follow, we who follow Christ are, we who are his, his disciples are of salt and light of the earth. And if we're to be salt and light of the earth, we got to walk in holiness. We got to walk and be, we got to be holy. We got to walk as holy as priests, we we, we it says in, it says in Peter, 
first, 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 and second Peter that we've been made, we've been made into a holy priesthood, because uh, by by the blood of Jesus. We are a royal priesthood, in the name of Jesus. Those who are in Jesus are a royal priesthood, and are part of His covenant. I don't know where it is in Peter right now. If I had my other Bible, I would point it out, but I don't know where it is. Anyway, Christians are supposed to be the salt and light of the earth, and too many people are walking around saying they're Christians, but they're not really following the light of being the light of the world. They're following their flesh. They're following their flesh and their carnality. And the, and the Bible says that carnality is enmity against to against God. To be carnally minded is to be dead is death. That's what Scripture says. So when we believe in so we who Christ, a lot of Christians like I said are following the flesh. You know, like the Bible says. Like in Galatians, like for example, walking after their own pride and walking after the lust of the flesh and walking after, you know, false doctrine, being deceived, one saved, always saved, all so forth. So many, so many things that people are listening to and looking for, you know. Jesus says we need to be ready for his coming at any time. Meanwhile, we got to be the salt and light of the earth. We got to go out and preach the gospel to all creatures uh, to all human beings every every man woman and child and tell them about the gospel because if they if they because if they can be saved they then they, all of the angels and all the angels of heaven rejoice so jesus says be salt and light of the earth my christians my followers my disciples my children God says to his, to his, Jesus says to his disciples, "Be follower, be light of the world, be the be the light and salt of the earth, just as I am." For if you if you can be salt and light of the earth, you are doing my father. You doing my father's will. When and that is walking. That's walking on the fruits of the spirit too. That's, that's having the fruits of the spirit in your life. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, kindness, uh, meekness, temperance, and and such. Those are the nine fruits of the spirit. I use temperance. I use King James temperance, and some uh, some translations will say it would even say self control. Temperance, self control, same thing. Just interchangeably. Yeah, right. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Amen. And here's a, here's what a lot of people are doing right now. And here's a lot of people. Here's a, some Christians are doing this right here. And I'm and there's a lot of you know a lot of Christians are given a lot of people who are calling themselves Christians are not really Christians because they give they give they giving Christ a bad rep. Because they're walking after idolatry, they're walking after they're they're in they're in adultery and they're in fornication, they're in cleanness, lasciviousness, they're doing witchcraft, which is which has all forms of which have witchcraft has all forms of there's all forms of types of witchcraft. It's not just just black magic, white magic. It's like God says, Samuel says, and God says that stubbornness is a sin of witchcraft. Is as is as a sin, a sin of witchcraft. Is as rebellious. Witchcraft is as rebellious as a sin of witchcraft. People are envying others, and people are murdering others. Christian, I mean, the, these these Christians who are walking after the flesh are, are in these examples, and they and Paul says these are the kinds of people that will not inherit the kingdom of God. But they they have bitterness, and they have pride, they have anger, unrighteous anger. It's not a sin to be angry. I'm saying Paul says to be angry and don't sin in Ephesians, in Ephesians four. Don't be angry when you sin. Don't be. Don't sin when you're angry. 
and this is what Paul says. Anyway, back to the subject of being the light of the world, salt the light of the earth. You know how salt has, you know how salt was used to preserve, was used, uh, used as a preservator in the old, in the old days, and it still is, and it gives, and it also has a flavor, flavor to it, it gives flavor. Well, that's what Christians are supposed to be. We're supposed to be a flavor to the world that when people are, we're peculiar people, we're peculiar people, and the salt of the earth. We're also supposed to be the light of the world, and because this world is dark and evil, it's wicked, and people don't see how wicked and dark it is, how dark it is, until until you until they see God, and they see they think Christianity. People and people, unbelievers think that Christianity is silly and stupid because they don't they don't see they don't see how blind they are. Like right, if I take off my glasses, I'm pretty blind. I'm nearsighted, but if I put them on, God wants us to put on our our glasses, you know, spiritual glasses. And he wants us to walk with our glasses on and say, "Whoa, wait! This is what I've been missing out my whole life. Or this is this, I can see clearly now." But most, of, so many of us are walking as if as if God didn't give us anything to 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 give us. God didn't give us anything. Okay, I said I said an example. So see this. This is what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be like this. The salt. You notice how it gives flavor to your meat or your food. It gives flavor to food if it's like dry. Christians, it also can also it can also melt ice. Christians are supposed to be like that. And and then we're supposed to be we're supposed to be the light of the world. I don't know who this is for, but someone needs to hear this. Someone's gonna hear this and be and, and they're going to be gonna, yeah. Somebody's gonna hear this and they're gonna be they're gonna be glad they heard it. Some people are gonna be mad. I don't care who gets mad, but thank the Lord that someone like me is here to tell you about the gospel. Anyway. I hope this message edifies you, and, and I pray, pray that I was I was clear enough to tell you about what I meant, and I pray that you who will subscribe to me, and I pray that this message edifies you, and, and give give it a thumbs up and and uh, share the video, and like it, and I, I, I don't and and if you feel led to, uh, I don't no no mind. Well, just pray to God and see if I'm right, and if I'm wrong, please correct me. Please show me show me any areas in my in my in my in my, in my video that I'm wrong. I, I receive full correction. I will re, receive correction. I, I ask you, I ask for prayers and I ask for your your guidance. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you for watching. Amen.